All right, I just want to take a second and talk about buying fully depreciated items. So this is a 99 Johnson, it's made in 78. Uh, this motor in this approximate condition would retail in the used market for around $1,000. You can see I still got one little repair left. It had a crack in the hood, which I flashed inside and out, and this is just the final little coat of body fill before I paint it. See, I got a run happening here, but I'll get rid of that. So I paid six hundred dollars for this. I actually paid five fifty for that. Um, five fifty. It was fifteen dollars for a new sticker kit for it, which hasn't come yet. Um, it was scratched up pretty bad. I'm going to put some pictures. It had a Johnson in bottom end, an older Johnson bottom end, which are identical. They're a different color. <clears throat> Somebody must have put it on Evinru because it was painted Evinru blue over top. And then put it on this. And it was all scratched up. Because somebody, I assume, they either took their motor off the boat every time and left their boat on the beach. Or they just put the boat in the back of a truck and laid it in because it's all scratched to pieces. But I got it all painted up. Except for that one little side there. And mechanically, this is sound. It's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, everything checks out. But it just didn't look very pretty. And, you know, uh, $20 for a can of paint and a thing of stickers. And $30 for body fill and fiberglass repair kit. You know, that's 600 bucks. I'm into it for. And like I say, this ret would normally retail around $600 or uh, around $1,000. I've seen them from nine to $1,500. $1,500 ones aren't going to sell for that. But around 1000 bucks. so... Don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty. The thing with buying stuff like this is it has to be running in, you know, tip-top mechanical condition. Uh, if you buy an old motor that's not running, that's not really buying fully depreciated. That's just buying something broken and hoping to fix it. I've done that. It doesn't always work out. Sometimes it does, but you got to pay a lot less money for them if you're doing that. $600, certainly a fair price for what's going to look like a, you know, a nice outboard. And, uh, yeah, like I say, don't be afraid to get your hands a little dirty and save yourself a pile of money. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.